Hello on everyone, welcome back. Today is a bittersweet moment. Uh, this is the last time I'm gonna be recording a video from this location here in Aminucar, Spain. We've been here almost a year actually this Monday. It will be the one year anniversary that we have been living and, and, and working from Spain. Uh, that doesn't mean our venture is over. We're actually gonna be moving and spend another year in Spain, but we're gonna be moving to Madrid, which is just in alignment with our goals and our values and commitments and what we wanna achieve and see out of our lives which is a great segue into the into the to the to today's topic which is change and specifically fear of change like the, the human psychology just amazes me like it's so intriguing how uh, i speak with people on a daily basis on a variety of topics but mostly lately it's been about like hey what's going on in your life for, as a real estate agent and what's the platform that's going to help you grow your your career and i can't tell you how many times fear train change holds people back from the things they say they want to achieve, right? You know, they, they want to make more money, they want to grow. And at the end of the day, the fear of change outweighs the things that they say they want for themselves and for their families and what they want to achieve. And, you know, one example just really stands out. Like I've, I've had a conversation with a person where I showed them if they moved over to this new platform over at AXP, they could make $200,000 more, right? $200,000 more. Right, and and all of a sudden, like, you know, it made sense. We went over their goals, and all of a sudden, change, fear of change, stops that person dead in their tracks, and they don't make that move. And I've heard all the rationalizations, or what I like to say, rational lies. Right, we we lie to ourselves. We make up this reason because it's more comfortable to be in that one, stay where you're at. Because there's thing, this thing, fear of change, that overpowers us and, and overcomes the things that we really want to achieve, which, which is sort of sad. And, and like, you know, the two biggest things I hear from real estate agents is, oh, well, it's not all about the money. And I got to tell you, I'm going to call BS on that. <laughs> right? Like, I just, I just going to call it spade, a spade, a spade. It, it really is, you know, if, if you want to equate money with materialism, hey, all right, I see what you're saying, but that's not what that is, right? You can't tell me that you can't put two hundred thousand dollars to play, or, or and, you know, and that's the extreme example. How about ten thousand, twenty thousand, five thousand, fifty thousand? All those cases, I've I've sat down with people and shown them how they can make that kind of money, which will absolutely change their life per annum, make another five, ten, twenty, fifty thousand dollars per annum, and how that can change your life for the better. And it doesn't have to be buy a house or a car. By the way, no judgment if that's what you want to do with the money. Great. But how about fund your kids' educations, create a scholarship for those people who are, who are, who are, who are you know, not as well off as you? you know, I've seen people create schools, foundations, all those things. You know, so when I hear the, the rational lies, it's not all about the money, I'm like, it's what the money can do for you and what it can do for others. So that one, I am calling BS on. And the other one I hear often is like, I love my manager. Like, cool, love your manager, from another position where you can make another fifty thousand, ten, twenty thousand dollars, and if he or she is truly your friend, they will understand that this is what's in the best interest for you and for your family. And so, when it comes down comes down to a choice, what I often see is like I, I teach, I've been taught, and I teach people. It's, it's almost like you got to create this image in your brain, two paths, right? And one path is the the hard. You know, that's the, mood, the the road where it's like, it's uncomfortable, it's hard, it's new, it's a challenge. Um, and down that road at the end of it, so you sort of kind of envision at the end of that road, what, what's, that, what's in store for you at the end of that road is, is growth, right? It's breakthroughs. However, when we're operating out of fear of change, there's this other road. And that's the easy, comfortable, just do what I've been doing forever. And what you get at the end of that road is more of the same, right? And that's what I hear on a daily basis when I'm talking to agents like, yeah, like I know what to do. I even know how to do it, yet I'm still not growing my business. In fact, I may be even going backwards while all these other people that they perceive are growing and they in fact are because they're making that choice to go down the hard road, take that change. So that's what I'm asking you to do is really embrace that change, look at that change, make choices that are in alignment with your goals, your values and commitments and not that other thing like, hey, it's just comfortable to be here. So act today, call me, explore eXp because it's the, in a, the most innovative company I've ever seen. And all these other companies that are trading, great, great brands, but all these other brokerages are trading on the same thing. Different split, 
different cap. Nobody's offering what eXp is offering. Just an innovative way to get off the hamster wheel and create passive income and reach your goals. So act today, call me, and let's just do our due diligence. Explore the model, understand it so you can make an informed decision. Thanks, have a great day.